As you would have seen the thumbnail of the video, today we are going to upscale the image. Before moving any further in this video, please make sure you give this video a thumb up if this works for you. Also consider subscribing because I have many more videos related to this and let's jump into the code itself. I will also give a github page in the description. You may go there and give this guy, guy a star because he has done such an amazing work. First of all, head in description and open this website. Then you have to check out if you are connected with GPU runtime or not. If you are not connected to GPU, this will going to be really slow. And once you are connected to GPU, click on the first clone repository cell, press shift enter or click on play button to run this cell. Once the execution of first cell is finished, you would have new folder dfnet in the file browser tab. And now it's time to mount your drive. Click on that mount drive icon and accept all the conditions it asks for. Refresh it and you would see a new folder named drive in which you will have all the files in your drive. Now let's move back to the github page and scroll down where you see google drive link. Click on that and log in with your current account in that drive as I am doing in this video. Now move inside weights folder and right click on this file and make a copy of it and do rest of all of them as I'm doing in this video and now come back to your drive and create new folder named weights and move copy of vgg19.pth file to that weights folder now create another new folder in your drive and give it a name as I'm giving in this video make sure the name exactly matches otherwise model will be giving you an error and now copy all the files which we have created except the last one which says copy of latest net and move all these files to this new created folder now the last one create one more new folder named checkpoints and move inside that checkpoints folder and create another new folder name exactly i am giving in this video now the last step copy this remaining file or move this file which names copy of latest and move this inside checkpoints go inside checkpoints and move this file inside the newly created folder all right so now that's completed uh, to double check move into the github page and check this folder structure do you have exactly like this folder structure and i'm changing the color of this file so that you may check it better and now go back to your collab notebook and refresh that file browser icon and check if all the files in your my drive has been updated or not if it's not happening um rewatch this video and again do the steps now the last step is to copy this newly created all the three folders into your dfd net folder and you just have to drag them to the dfd net and it will going to automatically copy it over there keep in mind that the size of these files are too big so it may take some time to copy over there i have fast forwarded the video in your case it might take a long time maybe about four to five minutes and once you refresh you should see the folders over here now i don't know for what reason it's not copying the checkpoints folder to the dfd net so we have to do this manually so what you have to do is to create new folder in the dfd net named checkpoints and create another new folder in the dfd net named the face fh dictionary uh, make sure the folder name are exactly matching in your case otherwise it will going to give you an error and now go back to your drive and go inside checkpoints inside facefh dictionary and move that file to the root location of your my drive as i'm doing in this video and again go back to your google collab notebook and refresh that file browser and uh, in a bit you would see that newly moved file once it is showing um, copy this new file to the checkpoints folder now most of your work has been finished now it's time to go back to your second cell and run it either by pressing shift enter or clicking that play icon in order to install all the requirement packages moving down to renaming section just run all these four cells 
moving further go down to setup section and run the first two cells before you run the last cell there is some more work to do um, you see in the file browser uh, tab there is a test data folder when you open this test data folder you will see some test images and these are the images which are going to be upscaled and if you want to upscale your own image you you have to upload that um, image by clicking on that upload icon and locate it to your file and just double click on the file in order to upload it to the drive and this is the image of mr bean which we are going to upscale and there is one one more image which we are going to upscale is the another image of mr bean so i'll be uploading this image also as i have done for the previous one now just drag these two jpg images to the test data folder um, inside the test data folder where is the another folder and just drag them to there once you have done that just run the last cell and your final images will be in front of you well go back to github page to read some more about it and well there are some parameters which you can change there are four parameters you can change um depending your where your file is located where your output directory you want and some more you can give it a read if you want and it will take some time to run i will skip that part all right so once that run is completed you would have new folder named results and in that you would have some more folders and you would find final result folder where your final upscaled images will be located and there will be uh, another folder input where it will have input image to it and that is it for the video and um, i will now quickly compare the photos with each other how it performed and that is it for this video if you found this video helpful please give this video a thumb up and uh, consider subscribing because i have such videos uh, already available in my channel if you want to check them out go ahead and check them out and i will catch you in the next video till then keep coding and enjoy coding see you in the next video